goes against my grain to be making a baby shower for a mother that's not married. <laughs> Just think of it as making the baby shower for the baby. I mean, you can't be mad at a baby because his mother isn't married. Oh, I'm not mad at her for not being married. I'm mad at her for not even wanting to be married. Oh, Mildred, stop it. This is 1979. Again, I'm getting the date. <laughs> Everybody born after 1950 is part calendar. Whatever you say to them, they tell you what year it is. <laughs> Who is it? Me and Lois. Hi, come on Hi. in. Get to work. Guess what? We what? got $60 for the crib. Which one should we get? The $75 one with my store discount. Should we get the one with the clowns or the one with the monkeys? Yes, Lois. Which one is proper for a child born out of wedlock? <laughs> oh, will you stop it already? Susie's entitled to live her life the way she wants. This is 1979. <laughs> live her life the way she wants, but her baby is entitled to live its life the way it wants, and it probably wants two parents. It's impossible for a child to be born without having two parents. <laughs> Were you listening, Jill? Did you hear that? Uh -huh. Now you know I lied about the stork. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lois. You gotta drop me off at work. Yeah, okay. I can't be late again. See you later. For dinner. See you. Excuse me. I wonder if you could help me, please. I'm certainly going to try. I, I have an address here for next door for Felicia Sherman. Uh, no, Winters. Felicia Winters. I rang and rang and there is no answer. Do you happen to know her? Yes, we do, and we're expecting her here any moment. Please come in. Oh, thank you, but I don't want to impose on you. Oh, why not? We're all friends of Felicia's. Uh, I'm Lois. How do you do, Lois? How do you do? This is Jill. Hi. Nice meeting you, Jill. <laughs> and this is Camille. Hello. How do you do? Nice meeting you. And this is Mildred. Hello. It's a pleasure meeting you, Mildred. <laughs> My late husband was Italian, and you did that just like him. Except you didn't get my hand all wet. Oh, I almost forgot to introduce myself. My name is Sergio Fontana, also dear friend of Felicia's. Why don't you sit down? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, here. This is Felicia's name, an old address, an old photograph. <laughs> oh, God, she looks 20 years younger. Oh, she was. We both were. Oh. I met Felicia in the summer of her senior year. She was in a tour with, uh, how do you call them, uh, Youth for Nixon? That and other things. <laughs> That's Felicia, all right. Uh, oh, can I get you some coffee or soda? We don't have Chianti. No, 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 thank you, thank you very much. But I would be most grateful if I could wash my hands. Oh, sure. Um, upstairs, first door on the right. Grazie. Excuse me. <laughs> Wow, what a great face. Face? What a great tush. Oh. Camille, aren't you nervous about letting a total stranger wander through your bathroom? He's not a total stranger. He's a friend of Felicia's. Sergio and Felicia, I wonder what that's all about. Oh, no, I can tell you what it'd be about if it were me. <laughs> Hi, Felicia. Hi, Felicia. Hello. Felicia. I just ran into Susie. I think we're having this shower just in time. She's ready to pop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we're not having a surprise party. I think that girl's had enough surprise.